Help me, help me, Lord Jesus. Lord, I need your help right now. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Father, we bless you for your faithfulness. We thank you for your goodness. We bless you. This is another week in your presence. The Bible says in your presence there is fullness of joy. And at your right hand there are pleasures forevermore. We bless you, Father. You are a faithful God. You are a good God. Baratu Zwala Debra Diyadosa. Nade malete zwala tola brege dwala toza dia. Enya dozwa leke tosa. Glory be to your name. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God. Faithful in all his ways. All his ways. Aniando zwala tola brege rosa tali adus. We lift up our hands in praise to you. Yes, Lord. We lift up our voice in praise to you. Yes, Lord. We lift up our hearts in adoration. In a bali koda bredebosha, you are a faithful God. Faithful you are the God. keeper of Israel. Keep you are our strength Israel. and our fortress. Our you are our buckler and our stronghold. Our you are the captain of the host of heaven. You are the faithful God. You are the alabado zala tosa. We just bless you this morning. There is no that morning, can be compared to you to be compared from age to, you. to age you from remain the same age, you, you are the, the lily same. of the valley you are the, you are the, the rose of, the of sharon you are, you are god almighty you are god we almighty. bless your name we bless your name hallelujah hallelujah we bless your name we bless your name we bless your name we bless your name we bless your name. Oh Lord, we bless your name. We bless your name. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Wow. Hallelujah. This is Reverend J.S. Duna, and I'm glad once again to be here. It's Activating Power Prayers, Prayers. our special edition, 14 days of the reign of, of, the the reign of blessing. Yes. We see in the power of God, of praying to God, and then we're seeing God prosper our ways yes. spiritually. Yes. In every ramification. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So today we are, we're looking at bringing down giants. Let's mm, read 1 Samuel chapter giants. 17. Wow. 1 Samuel chapter 17. Mm. Every giant in your life is coming down. Amen. The giants in your mind. Giants standing you from Hello. entering your inheritance. That whether they are giant walls. Jericho came down. The people didn't do much. Wow. They just had to walk around. My God. I am seeing giant walls. Giant issues. Giant gigantic uh, 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 situations that may have mocked your destiny. Aniandos. Ah, yes, yes, yes. The Bible said that Goliath was mocking these people, had mocked them for 40, 40 days. Hey, days. And this is 40 days. And the other bar, Adazo, Dola, Bosha, Dabrados. The giants are coming down. <laughs> Hallelujah. Please, Hallelujah. let's read First Samuel chapter 7. Ah, yeah, Bados. Right. First Samuel chapter 17, verse 49. All right, Pastor it Joy, says, and you? David put his hand. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. The day is 17. Yes, yes, day, yes, yes And we're reading yes, First Samuel 17. Man of yes, God, yes, are yes. these things coincidental? <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. But uh, all I know is the giants My are coming. The God. giants in your mind, they are coming. Down. Amen. Visible oh. giants, invincible giants. Amen. Financial oh. giants. Giant Amen. debts, they are being cancelled. Giant debts are that being giant, giant budgets handle. that you thought could not. You, you, were, in, in, you, were, you thought how you were thinking, budgets. how am I going to settle this bill? They are, they are come, they are being settled. Amen. To come down means you either you uh, this Anyhow, is this is it. You either you pay for it or you get the favor, it is paid for you, or it is cancelled. I don't know how, but I <laughs> see monstrous giant debts being cancelled. And the heavy body. Yeah, but rode away. Hallelujah. Please, Pastor. Ah, yeah, that, oh, that, yes. Hey, that, Samuel that. chapter 17, hey, I read that, from 49. Hey. It says, And David put his hand in his back mm. and took his a stone hey. and sling it and, and, and slang it, it yeah. 
and smote the Philistine in his forehead. Aya. That the stone stuck into his forehead. In those and he fell upon his face to the Aya. earth. Aya. So David prevailed over the Philistine with a sling mm. and a stone mm. <laughs> and smote the Philistine Aya. and slew him. Mm. But there was no sword in the hand of David. Therefore David ran and stood upon the Philistine and took his sword and drew it out of the sheets thereof and slew him and cut off his head therewith. And, the, and when the Philistines saw that their champion was dead, they fled. I, am, I, I want to My announce God. to you what Whatever is championing that oppression against your destiny, whatever is championing that situation that has brought embarrassment, whatever is championing that marital situation, whatever is championing that chronic singlehood, whatever is championing that satanic health issue, whatever is championing it today, their heads shall be cut off. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Today their heads shall be cut off. In the name of Jesus. Amen. He said, and David put his hand. Ayagaladoda. Any handles. Sir, your hands are about to be empowered. Amen. Your hands are about to be empowered. Amen. The Bible says he, he, he put his hand. There is a bag you are carrying. I don't know whether you know about it. There is a bag you are carrying. There is something God has given to you. There is something you are carrying that gives solutions. you the capacity to Aya. eliminate Aya. your captivity. Yes. To stop and to end your captivity. Yes. But here this, the Bible says he put his hand and he In took it. Bag. But all this while, this giant has been shouting at Israel. Shouting. This thing may have been shouting at your family. Mm. May have been mocking your family. Mm. May have been oppressing your destiny. Da, 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 may have been hindering your business. May have been stopping your progress. Da, 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 may have been limiting your breakthrough. May have been just, just ah, yeah, yeah, binding yeah, yeah, your favors. Yeah, 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 but yeah, yeah, today, yeah. I feel so strong mm. in my spirit mm. that you are about to knock down a giant Amen. by the power of the favor of God. Amen. Man. Just two days ago, my four-year-old daughter was asking me. He, she said, and then, and then David threw stone at him, and God hit his head from behind, and he <laughs> fell on his face. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That is children making a mockery of the the wickedness of this world. Oh, yeah. Permit me to say, the, David stone did not kill Goliath. Hey. It was God, ah, for if God be for us, mm. who can be against, against us? us? God is knocking down every Amen. resistance. Amen. God is knocking down every giant situation. Amen. God is knocking down every barrier on your way. Amen. God is knocking down every fear of your life. Amen. God is knocking down every hammer of your life. Amen. Somebody shout amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Pastor Joy, Baletala. This is the beginning of this new week. Hey, 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 hey. And it's the 17th day. In Kotolash. Can I remind yeah, 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 you yeah, yeah. that David was 17 years old when he took up this Hey, 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 hey. Yala badadash. And we are reading First Samuel 17. Magodosha. Today is the 17th day. Mm. And it's the beginning of the new week. It is no, no, none of these things are coincidental. No, 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 no. 17, but I tell you something. The problem they had, it was a national problem. Chabadash. What we had was something that there is no gathering together for a prayer meeting. Hey. Something was upon David. Anya, manna, manna. He didn't call and say, hey, come Edio. together, we have an issue here. Anna, I'm da, talking da, da, da. about an issue, a generational issue Magala, da. that is calling for a response. For what has been released upon our head to handle that giant. We are having so many giants in our generation presently. Giant of lies that is permeating the life of people. They are not living the truth and it's time for us to begin to bring down all of these giants. 
David didn't call back. He didn't gather people. No. He began to respond with what has been released upon his head. He was having the fresh anointing upon himself dripping down from him. And, and that was God. why he was able to withstand every resistance until he was in facing this giant. giant. Father, the Bible says he Father, began to speak to this giant. And when he was finished speaking with him, he didn't even have time to listen to what the giant was saying. Hey. The giant was busy looking at him and saying, who is this little one? Am I a dog? You may look as if what you are trying to do to the giant will look as if they are feeble efforts. He said, you are coming against me with sticks. Am I a dog? I want to let you know you shouldn't be intimidated at what the enemy is trying to use to intimidate you. Because right in you is what is contained that will bring down that giant. What he had looks as if they are weak tools. He has stones. He has sticks. He has a sling. What can you do? You are asking, what can you do? What can you do compared to the giant facing you, the giant of deaths that are hanging, the giant of the issues challenging your life. I tell you this morning that the strategy God has given you, it is more potent. The Bible says for the weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal at all. What David was holding was looking feeble, but they are potent. Because no matter what you have in your hand, if my God breathes upon it, will bring down every mountain. It was just a rod that Moses was holding. He used that rod to sink the whole nation of Egypt. He was able to part the Red Sea with that rod. He was able to bring plagues upon a nation that was in, in that was almost, that we are in charge of the whole earth at mm. the time. But he confronted them with a feeble, a feeble weapon. I tell you that in your hands you have a weapon. Just like David brought down that da, da, giant, da, 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 I want da, 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 da. to let you know in your hand is something that if you can trust God this morning, you are going to bring down every giant. You are going and to da, da, bring da, da, down da, 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 everything da, da, da. holding your life. You are going to bring down, I tell you, you are going to rise up because it's no more time to negotiate. It's no more time to think about it. It's no more time to cry about it. It's no more time to keep on listening to all the taunts of the enemy. Some of you crying in the night and wondering in how is God going to do brava this brava and the enemy has been nah, singing your nah, tears. The Bible brava says brava the whole brava land of Israel, nah, we are trembling. Whenever, that, whenever Goliath comes nah, out, the Bible brava says brava they will melt away. Nah, All of them we are dodging. We knew about Saul. Nah, the Bible brava said brava that Saul brava was, a, was a man that was so tall in all of Israel. He was a shoulder taller than every man in Israel. But he confronted a giant that made him look like a dwarf. Ah, yeah. Oh, I tell you something. It doesn't matter the size of that situation. I don't know who you are hearing me this morning. It doesn't matter the size of that situation. What is important is the thing that is in your hand. If you can recognize that God has placed the most potent weapon. The Bible says the weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal. They are mighty through God to the pulling down a stronghold. I tell you something. What killed David as you heard is not the what killed Goliath is not the stone. What killed him was the power of faith when he took into action what he believed God to do. You know what happened? That giant fell on his face down. That stone hit his forehead but he fell face down to let you know it is not our effort that is giving us the result. So stop trying to calculate your effort and step out by faith. No that situation that looks as if it is trying to sink your life, that situation that looks as if you don't know what is going to happen, don't on that look, don't, 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 don't despise it. That don't, I want you to look into the earth and begin to see the faith that God is expecting you. He said all things are possible to, to him that, that believe it. What God is going to use to bring God that giant may look insignificant. Don't ever allow the enemy to despise the tools in your hands. That was what David did. David was not scared when you were telling him, am I a God? You are coming after me with a sword. You are coming after me with a, with, with a stick. And he was coming with a stick. It was the shepherd's uh, staff that he had in hand. He did not lay it down. 
He was holding the shepherd's stick. He was holding the bag he, of the, the shepherd bag. He was holding the sling. I tell you, these are ordinary tools. Yes. But God used it as he went out in faith. I want you to believe God in faith that God is going to use what you have in your hand to bring down the giant of your life because this 17th day I see the Lord using the insignificant things around you the things that look as if they are not you know that is the things God is gonna use to bring down every giant what brought down the Goliath giant you know what brought it down it was nothing it has nothing to do with what David did ah, yeah, because he fell face down you can't hit somebody and he fell towards you he have to fell that it was not the force of that stone that brought down Goliath. it was the but force I tell you something the there is another God. thing I noticed in that story no you know God. what when David was going he did not go with the armor of men he did not go with the armor of the flesh mm, he didn't even have a sword he yeah, was coming at it is not a movie it's not a cartoon i'm talking about a life situation he went out in the name of the lord he did not carry any sword but he was sure he's going to come down i want you to look at that situation and trust god you may not have what the world will call the right equipment but if you trust god you the bible says that when that when david brought him down he climbed upon this giant yes he has slain him but he needs to cut off the head he had no sword in his hand he had to take the sword of the enemy Yes. There is something in the hand of your enemy that you need to bring him and down. And as you are going out by faith, the battle is the Lord. The battle is not yours. In and I Lord. tell you that same God who did it in the life of David is about to show up in your life today. This 17th day, hallelujah. Amen. I see you rejoicing because the battle is turning out to your favor. In All Lord. those things that are so scary, they are so big. You don't know how you're going to do it in this 17th day of this fasting and prayer the lord is rising on your behalf he is making you to understand there are things in your hand you're gonna use to bring down the giant hallelujah amen thank you lord jesus it's in your house i keep hearing that it's in your house when we say it's in your house it doesn't mean it's 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 in your house literally Yes, it can be in your house, literally. The Bible said that this woman, the widow, cried to the prophet and said, they are about to sell my two sons. Mm. They are about to sell my two sons. Prophet, mm. help me. And he said, what do you have in your house? The woman said, I have a small pot of oil. Permit me to say there is unction in you that will eliminate the functions of the enemy in your home. That mm. will eliminate the functions mm. of the enemy in your family. Mm. That will eliminate the function of the enemy in your business. You. The Bible said the woman went and began to pour the oil. Yes. So there is something you have. There is an unction in you. There is a wisdom in you. There is a favor in you. There is something God has put on you that is able to eliminate the enemies of your destiny. So David knew that and from his back he brought out stone and that stone brought the end of the Goliath I don't know what is that massive issue against you but you are going to see that the Bible sorry we are seeing that the Bible if you back up a bit Goliath was cursing in the name of his God and then David was talking about the God of the armies of Israel yes. so that means this battle of giants is a battle of God versus gods that small G versus big G but you know that every time the bigger power comes the lesser power must bow Allah are you hearing me so we are going to involve god because today you are going out and you are bringing down the giants of your life amen you are bringing down the giants of your family amen. you are bringing down the giants of your business amen. you are bringing down the giants in your mind Hallelujah. the bible said the children of israel they said that we were like grasshoppers in their amen. eyes that means they left their own eyes enter their enemy's eyes and look from their enemy's eyes to see how small they were but look at this Allah go those who are that the Bible say and of Caleb and Joshua they had a different spirit they had another spirit sir so that is the spirit that raised men to conquer giants Hallelujah. so the Bible said they said we are we are well able <laughs> well, what we are saying is that something comes upon you today and you live with an infantry that shocks the devil Hallelujah. that gives the devil epilepsy Hallelujah. that gives him a, a stroke and, and that he can't rise up from because something is moving 
moving you. Something is pushing you. It is the power of God. So we want to involve God in this battle. Because today, giants are coming down. The giants of debt, I echo it, re-echo it, is coming down. The giants of immorality that have beset you and wouldn't leave you, they are coming down. The giant of empty-handedness, they are coming down. How so giants? What had been there that your father couldn't stop? Your great-grandfather couldn't stop? It has been there for generations. The Bible said the children of Israel have been under bondage for 430 years. That is several generations. But one day, I about the Garabadosa, God came out with a man called Moses, and by Moses, they came out of that oppression. Mm. I see you coming out of oppression today. Amen. I see you coming Seven out of everything days. that the enemy has put around your destiny. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Seven but they brought days. God. They brought God in. My God. They brought God in. So we are going to bring in God. Mm. You know, you are listening to me. God cannot. Did you see any? Everybody in that army was afraid. They didn't all have God. Them. All of them. They didn't have God. They, some of them even had God but no faith. But listen to me. It is God in you that makes you a mighty valiant man of Allah. David explained it in Psalm 89 verse 19. He said, I have laid help upon him, him that, that is, is mighty. mighty. Sir, it is the help of God. Man, it is the, that marital issue. It is not by talking and shouting. It is the help of God. That business, that thing that is making you not to sleep. It is not by calculating calculation and permutation. It's not by budget and planning. It, those things are necessary. But you need the God dimension to bring down this giant. Ayatalabra. You need the God dimension. I echo it again. You need the God dimension to bring down this giant. Okay. So we're going to pray. Say with me to invite God and say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I know that I'm a sinner. I, know I'm a I sinner. come to you today. I come to you today. Every sin in my life, I confess it. And I ask that you wash my life with the blood of Jesus. Give me the grace to live for Jesus, to anoint, to, to walk with Jesus the remaining days of my life. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. I am now born again. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I, I, I just saw a, somebody's heart. You, you have a breathing. The, the problem is you, you have a giant. A, a, anti cat issue. They don't even know what to do. But I saw the power of God, yes, just moving through that heart and bringing back the pumping or is it the pump, the vessels, the everything back into, into its original I, the, the original state. Thank you, Jesus. Ayabadash. Yes, that heart problem is over. Amen. That it's a it, it, Father, it listen. These are taking a gigantic you, chalk. Jesus. You were about to go for even a heart transplant or something. I, I, something like that. That is going to take a, a, a gigantic chalk out of the savings of your life. But God has healed you this morning Amen. in the name of Jesus. Anna Brada Bo Shatala. In those are, Pastor awesome Day, you want to say something? God, awesome God, Before awesome we pray, we, 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 we have to yes, pray. Yes, yeah. we are praying. Before we pray, I just want to lay this emphasis. In those are last. Concerning this 17th day, we still have, that, is it 23 days to go? Mm. In this fast. Every day has been significant. Mm. Every day has been significant. Mm. Today is the 17th day. Yeah, and we are able to glean something. And it's mm. not coincidental. We are, living, we are reading First Samuel 17. At this time, David was 17 years old. Oh my God. Yes. Mm. At this time, today is the 17th day of mm. this 40 days fast. Mm. And you know another thing? Joseph was 17. Yeah. If you read the book of Genesis, when the genealogy of 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 uh, Jacob, yeah, Jacob was yeah. about to be mentioned, they have talked about Esau, the genealogies, and everything they have accomplished. Kings were already ruling and everything. And when it came to Jacob, they said Joseph, mm. being seventeen years old. I tell you something in this seventeenth day, the Lord is setting up something. I don't want you to lose sight of it. Mm. They were talking about greatness and what God wanted to do. They called that a man. Mm. They called that a man. He was not the first child. He was not the second child. He looked as if it was insignificant. But the Bible talked about him and talked about him at a certain age. Wow. 
at this point in this 17th day god is pointing out a greatness Nagaya. that look as if it is significant insignificant hmm. All we saw, even jo um, David at that age of mm. 17, he was so insignificant, ah, his yeah, father didn't see the need. Because I tell you that if they have seen the potentials, he, they could have done something. You know what they could have done? They could have called his attention to be part of that anointing service. Mm. He was insignificant, yet God used him in a way that baffled everybody. Mm. I want to let you know, in this 17th day, you should not lose sight of what God wants to accomplish. We are going to pray, Lord, open my eyes. There is a bag I'm carrying. I, am I need to dip my hand and pick up that tool. It might be a tool of prayer. It might be strategies. It might be divine inspiration. We are going to trust God for that. You say after me, say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus thank, you. thank you. On this 17th day, this 17th I lay my hold. I lay hold, I lay hold, I lay hold on, everything on everything that I need to lay hold on. To lay hold and I ask you, Lord, ask you, Lord that, you lead me that you lead me into this battle. Into this battle. This giant this that I've been confronting, that, been confronting that everybody, everybody has been running away from. Running away Father, from. I rise in Father, faith. I, rise in I faith. begin to confront, I begin to this, confront giant. this giant. And in the name of, Jesus, the name of Jesus, I declare to you, giant, declare to you, you, giant. Are you are coming down. In the name of in the, the name Lord of Jesus. Jesus. You come against Kala, me yes, with every you come tool against of against this world. But I come against you in the name of the Lord. The armies of Israel, who you have been defying. You don't know if the giant has been fired. The fire of finances. You're going to use the same tool that they did. You began to speak. You began to allow the enemy to speak more than him. After you spoke, you ran. 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 You we make a declaration in the name of Jesus to every giant. Damn, hear ye the word of the Lord. Shabbos. The Lord has called for your destruction in the name of Jesus. And by faith we arise and declare, mm. you giant that have confronted the lives of the people of God. The giant of ill health, the giant of diseases, diagnosis. That have been diagnosed and the remedy is not yet there. The giant of inferiority complex. Mm. The giant of empty handedness. Hear me today as I lift up my voice as a trumpet. I declare that every giant sponsor from the camp of the enemy. You are coming down today. In the
Jesus. That day we saw the enemies of Israel that have been hiding. They rose up and began to, to pursue. Chase the enemy. Chase the enemy. They recovered cities. Hey. Yes. They yes, cities. Yes, 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 yes. They recovered cities. You are recovering your marriage. You are recovering your cities. You are recovering your children. You are recovering, you are recovering your, your finances. You are recovering, you are recovering your personality. You are recovering, you are recovering your identity. You are recovering your joy. You are recovering your peace. You are recovering your wealth. You are recovering your health. You are recovering. We cut off the head of every giant against your destiny. The Bible in the says name of Jesus. David was holding the head of the giant mm, in his heart mm, 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 mm. and stood before the king. Anabadash. I tell you. The Lord is helping you in this battle. And in your hands you will hold the head in of the Labada, giant. Shabadas. You will keep it as a trophy for yourself. In the name of Jesus. You will always refer to it. Thank you, Jesus. That this, the Lord did with my little faith. In the name of Jesus. If you have faith as small as a monster state, you can say to this mountain, be thou removed out of my life. You are lying down there in the bed of sickness. If you have faith on this 17th day, you can trust God that the unction flowing right now will meet you there. Hallelujah. You rise up, you trust God by faith, Hallelujah. and in your hands you will hold the papers showing Hallelujah. what the record said, the medical record, but you will see the proof in the that your body has been recovered. Father, we give Lord. you praise. We bless you. We bless your holy name. Oh, la, la, ba, da, in the name of Jesus. Ja, ba, da, da, ja, ba, Thank you, Lord Jesus. It is done. We give you all the praise. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Go yes, into your go week, into and, your week and be blessed. And do exploits in, in the name da, la, of the Lord. Ba, da, ja, ba, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The week is blessed. In the in name Jesus of Jesus. Name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Amen.